guys, Pigeon Guys here. I was just sitting here thinking about what would be my perfect handgun. And my perfect handgun would be in the style of the Nagant Revolver. Now the reason I say that is because the Nagant Revolver is a revolver and you can shoot it suppressed. Uh, the, the cylinder moves forward when you pull the trigger and it has a gas seal system. Now if you could uh, upgrade that to let's say 357 Magnum that'd be awesome so I mean you'd have to reinforce the frame the barrel chamber parts cylinder all that would have to be redone but the Nagant revolver is pretty simple in its form so if you could just use those same parts but built up I think it'd be pretty easy uh, something else I'd like for it to have is the something similar to the M47 revolver its cylinder can shoot multiple calibers all the way from uh, 357 down to 380 so 9 millimeter 38 super 38 uh, special uh, Makarov just any any ammo of that style it could shoot because it has these little tabs in each uh, barrel of the cylinder each chamber of the cylinder and so it keeps them all at the same same place um, let me see I would like for like a wildcat cartridge to be created for it because the 762 by 38 rim actually the projectile sits inside the case now the if you, they can make a 357 magnum just like that where the actual projectile sits inside the case to make the gas seal even better that'd be awesome so similar ballistics I mean that'd be an awesome gun so so Nagant style revolver threaded to accept the suppressor uh, Wildcat cartridge, M47 style cylinder with multiple calibers, and also when you're using the, the Nagant revolver, that double action is really heavy uh, because when you pull the trigger, it's actually moving the cylinder forward. So you're moving a lot of mass with the trigger, and the, the spring is really, really stiff. Like on my Nagant revolver, I spent many hours dribbling and cooling and dribbling and cooling and sanding to get the trigger weight down, but also keep it at a reliable thickness. So I wouldn't have any problems pulling the trigger if I wanted to do a rapid fire. Uh, if that could get worked on, and I mean, to me, that'd be the perfect handgun. Just seven rounds of 357 suppressed or three uh, nine millimeter suppressor 380 or whatever round I had available that was in that that uh, same spectrum that'd be awesome uh, what would be your uh, your perfect handgun thanks guys bye